is a one fall match with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first. Stone making his presence felt right here in PCW Memorial Hall. You talked about it. Tried to dominate the light heavyweight division. Didn't end up claiming that title. And recently he's eaten a couple losses, but by disqualification because he absolutely annihilated Eli Everfly and Chris Bay. Now he can pick on somebody his own side. So we watched him go up one on one with Chris Bay, and what we noticed is that every time he had a pinball victory, Set to go, he was actually lifting Bay by the hair, keeping him in the match, putting more punishment down on the youngster, making a statement. The light heavyweight division is way behind Alex Hammerstone. Brian Cage, another great competitor that has been instrumental since the early days of PCW Ultra. He was in that championship tournament in Tidal Wave. The crown, the first ever champion, made his way to the finals before losing to Pentel Cerro Mieto. Got back in the title hunt in his return and came within an eyelash of defeating John Hennigan. If it hadn't been from that low blow from Hennigan, we might be looking at the effing machine as your current champ. A lot of people think Brian Cage is the true PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion, but the fact is he was laying on his back at the end of that match. One, two, three, Hennigan still champ, Cage still hoping to grab a bone. You know, there's a, there's a lot of cliche used in professional wrestling commentary, but this one is right out in the history books. This truly is the definition of irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Boy, I am excited. Referee Rick Knox goes for the bell. And these two might take some time to feel each other out. And you can hear that Terminator style clap, that rhythm coming from the crowd here at PCW Ultra. And this is only our second match. We have two title matches later in the card, and these two lock horns. Well, and I would say the winner of this is certainly gonna position themselves right near the top of the heap for contention for the PCW Ultra Heavyweight title. Working over the arm now of Brian Cage's Hammerstone. Good luck. Both these guys adorning black and white trunks with black boots and black knee pads. Both men really electing to keep it simple. Not too flashy in the gear they choose for their matches. Instead, electing to spend that time in the gym getting better and healthier and stronger. And they're displaying that strength. Brian Cage. Anybody get the license plate of that truck? Incredible. And Hammerstone is used to throwing people around as he's he's been facing smaller opponents. That's not going to happen here. Not as easily, that's for sure. Look at this. Hammer, oh, duck. Nice duck there. Look at the speed there by Hammerstone. Rear waist lock. Escape there by Cage. Leapfrog now showing his athleticism as Hammerstone and a nice drop kick. Takes the big man down. Wow, incredible strength, incredible athleticism from Hammer. Hammer's able to get all the way up six, seven feet in the air and land a picture perfect horizontal drop kick right to the kisser of Mr. GMSI, Brian Cage. Throughout the history of PCW Ultra, we have featured heavyweights that have astonishing athleticism. You think of Willie Mack, who we will see later on tonight. Now, look at this, Cage. Also, the likes of 
Fredo, so many great heavyweights that can fly with the best of them, and these two of the all-time greats, two of the best, cannot wait for this collision. Look at this wheelbarrow. Wow, look at that Lucha style, that arm drag from behind with Brian Cage. And now, is he going true Lucha? Super duper Lucha? No. Yeah, that would have been more like a 12-2-18. Uh, yeah. A little double. And now you can see Hammer. And he says, no, no, taking a little break on the outside is Hammer. You can see in his eyes, he is not going to let Brian Cage get the better of him. People complain about Alex Hammerstone's attitude. I personally love it. Would you claim that this is the biggest test in the PCW Ultra tenure thus far of Alex Hammerstone. Of course it is. I mean, the last two matches he had were against Eli Everfly and Chris Bay. And as incredible as those two athletes are, and as fast and quick as they are, they were really from PCW Young Guns coming up, trying to get into the company. Hammer just picking them apart. And we might have uh, the makings of a bit of a pose down. And it's crazy because you don't want to pose down with Brian Cage. He looks like a god. Look at that guy. No way. And uh, wow. And uh, Hammer now wanted to go for a little test of strength. And Hammer is absolutely shredded. I mean, he looks amazing, but I think the size the size argument would have to be in the favor of Brian Cage. Well, we'll have to see how it plays out. Talk about a clash of the Titans you mentioned. Cage looks like a god, and wow, Hammerstone yes. does it to sucker in Cage. Yeah, what are you doing, Cage? Hand. You're not going to hold hands with Hammer. He ain't rolling like that. Hammer ain't holding hands with anybody. No patty cake. And it was a... Baker's man. Some would mention it, would call it a cheap shot. Oh, no, look at this. From Hennigan that kept Cage from winning the title. Now Cage can sucker it in again, but a big clothesline there by it's, it's not a the cheap Epic shot. Machine. Todd, I'm, I'm honestly tired of hearing you say this. Later on tonight in our main event, we will see Hennigan defend that title, and he is the true champion. Just because you decided to hit someone in the groin, it doesn't mean you, you were trying to take an advantage. It was maybe an accidental blow. The referee didn't see it. So why are you sitting here complaining about no, it? Hennigan's a great champion. He's a fighting champion, and he's been a very opportunistic champion. But sometimes that's exactly what it takes. He said, say it's better to be lucky than good, and Hennigan has been both. He defends the title against the first ever PCW Ultra Champion, Pente El Cerro Miedo. Quiet, please. Ooh, oh, what a shot. Wow. That'll jump start your ticker. I can feel that here. And the adrenaline is pumping through these fans. As they, can, they know this is a big fight here. These two guys really trying to position themselves into 2018. Perhaps for a title shot, perhaps to hurt somebody else. It's, it's almost like both these guys get off on oh, man. running through no, the wait. locker room. You'll recall Hammerstone's been throwing people into the third or fourth row. He was going to try and do that to the effing machine. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Cage not going to allow that. And those uppercuts, that European uppercut means everything when you got 26 inch arms like Brian Cage. Yeah, and these are shots that would floor any normal man. These two superhuman. Oh, Cage! Going to steal a page out of the Hammerstone playbook. Oh See my ya. God. Thanks for playing. And into the abyss goes Hammerstone. And the black hole sucks him up. And the light shines bright on Brian Cage. Hammerstone gets a taste of his own medicine, and it can't taste good. And Cage is going. He's going to get that full court press going right after him on the outside. Yeah, and you know, our production team has really stepped it up here at Refuse to Lose. We now have incredible lights lighting the ring, highlighting the wrestling in the ring, but when the action spills to the outside, it, it's a little bit more of a challenge to follow it. We're kind of with you at home now, just hoping to get a glimpse. But I can tell you, these two are brawling around the building and in there, in the crowd. And if you're not here, this is what you're missing. These two dudes fighting right in front of you. Yep. Also be more of a challenge to defend yourself out there. Hammerstone at the moment seems to have the better of Brian Cage looking for that Valkyrie missile, but eats a backdrop on the outside. And that's really dangerous for Hammerstone. I wonder if he's all right. He, he literally just got backdrop under the hard cold cement with probably a couple of chairs only to break his fall. And those steel chairs are very unforgiving. 
plastic chairs, steel chairs all around the building. Hey, chairs don't feel good no matter what That's they're exactly made of. Right. And you can see the effects on the skirmish on the outside as Hammerstone completely laid out on the concrete. Advantage Cage, at least at the moment. Cage has muscles where, where people don't usually grow muscles. Like, look at his back. It is as shredded as the Shredder, which is actually the bad guy in Ninja Turtles. Did you know that? Hey, more like Super Shredder. Super Shredder, indeed. It's Kevin Lynch. Oh, look the, at this. That. One of his signatures here. Brian Cage, the strength. My goodness gracious. Springboard suspended suplex into the cover. Now, is that going to do it? No, Hammerstone out of there. And I don't know how Hammerstone able to kick out of that there. And you can see that Cage also confused. And Hammerstone earlier was trying to get back on the outside of the ring. When's the last time you saw Hammerstone kind of running for cover? This is absolutely rare territory for Hammerstone. And look at that. He just knows not where he is. His, his head snapping back over and over again. And I'm worried about my boy Hammer. Hammer in trouble. Maybe thinking German suplex. Cage saying not today. Puts on the brakes. Elevates Hammerstone to the outside. Both of these incredible Ooh. athletes jockeying for position, and it's Hammerstone that scores with the shot upstairs. And this is what he has to do, go up top. Try to change up the strategy against Brian Cage. Oh, just two there. Close call after that big drop kick off the top. Christian, you recall our first matchup. That's exactly what Graves did to try and take down the bigger man, and it worked for him. Maybe Hammerstone studying in the back. Well, we could talk all night about the strength and dynamics of our fantastic roster here at PCW Ultra, but it's the brains of these two heavyweights that gets them ahead. Boom now, big knee. The speed on display now, a Hammerstone stringing the strikes together, transitioning into strikes. Valkyrie missile! Hands is out here! That's is that it. gonna do it? No! Oh. Referee Rick Knox's hand was coming down for three, but only a count of two. But man, those were some big time shots that KJ. Indeed, and Brian Cage now laying on his back. Hammer, the first one to his feet. And Hammer usually would have ended guys with what he's, the offense he's put out there thus far. And look at Hammer, what's he thinking here? Will he go with the pedigree? Well, you might say he's got his game face on. Oh, there it is, he's, one of the underhooks. He's toyed with the crowd before, Christian. This might be the time to actually hit it. Uh-oh, wow. Sit out, power bomb there by Cage. And you can see Cage biting his lip, sort of wondering what it's gonna take to put away Hammer. That flip and sit bomb as Cage calls it, and Cage has so many weapons in his arsenal. Oh Perhaps no, look now looking for the F and five. Oh, don't tell me! Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody is muscle bound as Cage shouldn't well, have look the at flexibility. Ah, oh, there Boom. it is! And Cage so dynamic, able to use wrestling styles from all over the planet, and now climbing the corner rope. And what do we do here? Dropping the elbow, dead center of the ring. This is gonna be tough for Hammerstone to kick out, but he does, he finds a way. Digging down deep, what a match. Back and forth, seesaw. It's almost like who strikes last is gonna put this thing away. Yeah, this is everything we expected when we heard the match announcement. Brian Cage versus Alex Hammerstone here at Refuse to Lose. And it has surpassed our expectations. Oh no. Oh! Big knee and now a shot back the other way. Both guys digging down deep into their playbooks. Super kick by Cage. Caught him flush. Discus clothesline, one of his favorites. Does oh, he connect? God. Valkyrie missile again. And that was it, Todd. He popped right up. Oh, what's he made of? Referee Rick Knox needs to go down and check if Brian Cage is really human or just a cyborg. I have never seen a man recover so quickly and to drop such heavy offense. We really had no idea where he was. Well, whoever could get back to their feet here, Christian, might have the decisive advance. So many times when you see that back and forth, I say it's like a, a, a grand finale of a fireworks show. Well, with these two, it's like watching the home run derby. Both big men swinging for the fences. Yeah, indeed. And if uh, if Brian Cage is Babe Ruth, you might say 
Hammerstone, Joanne Cespedes? Sure. Big forearms trading now. These two Goliaths, they know what's at stake here. Not only is this a rivalry match, but it's for everything here. They want to get themselves in position for the PCW Ultra Heavyweight title. Big, big forearm there by Hammer. Oh man, yeah, he pulled the ripcord into it as well. Headbutt. These two pulled out all the stops. Big German suplex by Look Kane. at Hammer. Look at his face. And he's raged. And now it's Cage that pops right back what up. What is going on here? <laughs> oh. And these are like two pit bulls staring at each other. This is what you love to see. In football, this is what you call big on big. And I love it. And now a hockey brawl has broken out. And Knox trying to get oh, action. Oh. Well, there you go. You don't do that. Oh, what the hell? And now officials, I mean, you, you can't lay your hands on the official in these two. I don't know if anybody can keep these two apart. Security out there now. Oh my goodness, power bombs in stereo. They're gonna take everybody out to get back at each other. This is chaos here. And Dom Vitale better have something to say about what we're witnessing here. Of course, our commissioner of PCW Ultra. And this brawl is broken out and no one can control it. And the, the Wilmington police are in the ring. I mean, and good thing they got there. They got in there quick because well, you can hear the faithful. They want to see these two continue this battle. They want to let them fight. Just too much aggression. I mean, you know, a ring I just don't think can contain these two. And they're back at it again. Look at that, just grabbing a handful of hair. And these two are brawling on the outside. And if Biggie Biggs can't get between two people, who the hell can? Who the hell is Biggie Biggs? One of our security staff who among many are paying the price trying to separate these two behemoths. Man, this is crazy watching this unfold as we expected a barn burner tonight. And we certainly got it, whether it was before the bell or after. Man, what a match. And this story has not come to an end. No doubt about it. And Christian, I for one, I'm with the crowd here. I want to see them fight. I want to see Cage and Hammerstone go at it again. Will we get that opportunity? We have to. Well, Tom Vitale, our, our, our leader of our company here, there's no way that he allows this match, this storyline to end tonight. I cannot wait to see what happens between Hammerstone and Cage.